In this tutorial, I'll talk about CMS. Before we move on to AEM, let me talk about a bit about CMS, Content Management Systems. So content management system used to create, edit, organize and publish your content and digital content. So content is basically your pages and digital content is your digital assets, means your images and videos. So a CMS, content management system, I'm talking about as a general content management system, not AM, helps user to create, manage, modify content on a website without the need of a specialized technical knowledge. So this definition is with asterisk. Why asterisk? I'll talk about it. This definition is partially correct. So before we move on, let's have an example. Let's say you want to build a website, very simple static website, which has 10 pages. So what you will be doing? I'm not talking about any specialized technology, any specialized tool. Let's talk at a high level. You have some basic technologies, fundamental technologies, and you need to create website using those okay so let's say you need 10 pages what you will be doing you will write a 10 html you will write css and javascript all right and you will deploy this on a web server obviously very simple web server let's say apache now you need to create 10 more pages even the layout is same everything is same but still you need to create 10 more pages so you will be creating 10 more HTMLs. all right and you need developers to create those HTML, even you are not writing anything new. And you need a DevOps teams to deploy that application, right? Now your website start growing and you need some, uh, you know, integration with other technologies. Let's say some traffic is coming on your website where you need to save values, save information. So what you'll do, either you will use database or web services. To interact with either database or web services, you need other frameworks, you need other technologies, all right, where you need some other rendering logic, rendering technologies. Let's say you are using Java. So for the rendering front end, you need something, right? The HTML is not enough. So, uh, so you need another technology, another application, and all together, you need to deploy your website in a high efficiency servers let's say you want to deploy this now on application server again if you need one more pages again the whole cycle is going on and you need developers devops teams to deploy this now how cms systems can help you so as i said the partial the previous definition is partially correct so with any cms i'm not talking about aem Specifically, I'm talking about as a CMS, some CMS has more or less features. Every CMS developers write the functionality once and then non-developer people can create content using that already built functionality. So to create content, yeah, now developer is not needed. So the first developers or your technical team create your functionality, write your functionality and now you reuse that functionality. So let's see come here. Now when you need more pages, so this whole cycle now deployment is not needed. Developers are not needed. Your content authors means the non-technical guy can create your pages, add the content to those pages and just publish those pages. Publish means when your, your content reaches to end user. And these systems provide you most of the infrastructure as well. So you can deploy and test your functionality and your content without any other system. So now, now let's take back again and see what we discussed. So provide most of the infrastructure. Why I'm saying most of the, you may need some additional softwares, you need some additional uh, application, but most of the most of the technology or the framework or the infrastructure needed to build your functionality is already available with your application, means your CMS. Reusability, as I said, developers or your technical team write your functionality once and then non-technical guys, your marketing people, content author can create content without the help of any of the technical people, right? Again, the create and publish content. So 
you want to create new content you create it and you publish your content will be reached to your end user not a technical guy involved no as i said no technical expertise required for content i'm saying please keep in mind the word content to create content no technical expertise is needed if you want to change some functionality then obviously your development team is required so at a high level there are number of type you can categorize of your cmss let's say traditional cms and headless cms there are two type of cms is available at a high level traditional cms you can categorize in two categories one is coupled cms and decoupled cms so when your logic your functionality is binded to your rendering uh, framework that is called coupled and when your back end functionality means your functionality content delivery functionality is not tightly binded to your rendering functionality that is called decoupled okay headless when your cms can deliver your content only content but not the rendering functionality those kind of systems you called headless another one is hybrid systems which provide you you know headless functionality as well as they behave as a traditional cmss so your am is a hybrid cms hybrid decoupled cms i'll talk about sometime later about this coupled and decoupled in detail but for now just understand here is your am is a hybrid cms okay at a high level your cms can have three parts content management application content delivery application and your front end means the functionality used to render your content so this slide i will explain when i will explain aem when i'll show you i'll, I'll give you a, a overview or a walk through for aem then i'll explain these three points with the example so that you can better understand so more or less your content management system provide you these functionalities like content management system digital asset management and it will give you a way to access control your content to control access over your content it provide headless cms headless feature you can build and run website with your cms only okay so these features more or less available in all the famous cms is available these days so i hope you understood something about the cms content management system if you have any question to your add your comment thank you